Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a few different ways you can password protect your WordPress website, whether it be the full website, individual pages or posts. Um, it's actually quite simple to do and something that, uh, depending on what you're trying to achieve, what uh, is gonna be sort of working out what's best for you. So the first one I'm gonna start with, we're just gonna look at passwording the whole website because it's a quick and easy thing to, to do. So what we're gonna do, we're heading into plugins and we're gonna to go to add new. And we're gonna type in up here, password protected. Straight away you see you've got a few results, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to password protected by Ben Hewson, and we're gonna install that plugin. And you can see by the three asterisks on his little icon there, we're gonna activate it. And we're gonna go to either you can go to settings here under password protected or you can go up to settings on the right here and password protected. Now it's simple. At the moment it's enabled, uh, so it might not be enabled when you start it because I've actually just uninstalled this, but password protection status enabled. And of course we want to allow administrators and logged in users, but you can actually choose to turn these on or off if you want to. And I'm gonna give it a password, something like one, two, three, one, two, three. We can allow certain IP addresses so they don't see the password. If you uh, have someone you wanna show this website to and give them the option to click remember me and they have 60 days or however many days to be remembered. We click save changes. And now I'm going to open up that page on a, another browser. And there you can see the website's password protected. I type in one, two, three, log in. And we're in on the website. So that is how you can password protect an entire website on WordPress and have a very basic entry. Pretty straightforward and pretty easy. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to go into our pages over here and it works the same with posts, but we're gonna password protect uh, pages just using the basic, uh, well, we might actually create a post as well. I'm going to actually go to edit about us. And this is just a like a little test uh, thing I've done for another video. What I want to do is under visibility here where it says public, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say password protected. Now the other thing I want to mention is if you want to make this available for logged in users, you can simply make it private. Uh, and uh, we'll just ignore that for now. You can make a post private, which means if you are an administrator or an editor, you can view this page if you are logged in and the rest of the world or the rest of the public people viewing your website they actually can't see the page that you've made private. So that's another way of password protecting. I wanna mention it, uh, if you have people who are WordPress users, they're editors or administrators, that can be a quick way to grant them access to certain pages you don't want the public to see. But for now, we're gonna go password protected, and this is actually just a standard part of WordPress. You don't need a plugin. I'm gonna give it another password. We'll say one, two, three again, and I'm gonna update. Now very quickly, before we go ahead, I'm actually going to exit out of here and I'm going to do the same thing to a post. I'm gonna go into posts here and I'm gonna go into 10 reasons not to eat old cheese. Once again, another test post. Uh, I'm gonna go into, status, into post visibility, password protected, and I'm going to put one, two, three in here as well and click update. Now I'm gonna to switch to the other browser because I wanna show you that what you can do is if you have the same password for multiple pages, this will actually allow it, so all you have to do is enter the password once and you'll gain access to all those pages. So I'm just going to switch to the other browser. Okay, so straight away you can see in the blog here, we've got protected, 10 reasons not to eat old cheese. If I click in here, you see it's password protected and I need to enter the password. Now ignore these colors, they're not, uh, <laughs> a bit odd. A bit odd. Now if I go to about us, I get the same thing again, I have to enter the password. So I type in the password here, hit enter, And now I can access that page. But if I go back to home, or just to this page here, you see all of a sudden this has appeared. So now I can go in and I can read this post. So that basically means, um, let's get those colors are a bit funky. Well, that basically means that if you want to password protect a, a bunch of pages very quickly with the same password, all you have to do is go into each individual post and you can uh, change that password to the same password. Now, doing this on bulk 
can be a bit of a bit of a task because if I head back into the dashboard, uh, which we switch back, I go back into posts. If we go into quick edit, the status is published. Uh, there's not really anywhere here. There's a password here. So if I go into say pages and I click both of these and click edit and apply, you see, I can see the status publish private. I can't actually update any passwords here. So you actually really can't bulk edit passwords in WordPress. You need to go into each page individually and do it one at a time. So you're going to look at another plugin that's going to make that possible. Okay, so now to protect the categories of certain WordPress posts, um, I'm going to actually go and install another plugin. So I'm going to go to plugins, add new, type in password protect WordPress Lite. And there is a pro version of this with more features and the plugin itself actually has a lot of features. So uh, it might be worth if you want to explore various options, checking that out. But I'm going to install, activate the plugin. And I'm going to go over to uh, posts and categories here. And you see I have an option here to password protect categories. I've got category two and uncategorized. I'm actually going to turn that on. I'm going to give it one, two, three, four. I'm going to choose yep, category two. I can add and subtract from here. Uh, simply add in so it'll be blank to start with and you can just click in and select category two. I'm giving it a password of one, two, three, four and I'm going to save those changes. Now you see settings have been updated. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to add a new post very quickly. We're going to sort of zoom through this. Content here. Password category. I'm going to publish this post as uncategorized just so we can uh, basically check out how it's all going to work. So I'm going to switch browsers and we're going to take a look at that. Okay, so you can see up the top here in our blog, blog feed that we've got our password category here. It's currently uncategorized. I can click through and I can basically look at this post. So I'm going to tag back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to here and now I'm going to actually close this down and under categories, change it to category two, update it and then we're going to head back and we're going to refresh. And you see here, there's no excerpt because this is a protected post. I click through, I need a password. One, two, three, four, enter. And now we can access it. So that is essentially how to do basic. It's just a really basic uh, you know, surface level way, but you can explore other plugins and other options, but that is how you can ex explore the idea of password protecting certain post categories um, individual pages or the whole website itself. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, and uh, yeah, it all helps me to help support the channel, helps me to create more free tutorials and resources like this. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. See you next time.